Last page on the paper, back page. Okay. Let's look. Just uh, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay, so let's look at this one, 32. It says M and N are perpendicular. So that tells us that this is a right angle all the way around, right? Everywhere we have right angles, right? Okay, we know that, are these two the same angles? Is this and this the same? No, right? Because this would be vertical with this. This would be vertical with this, right? But if this here is vertical with this, we can take this one and put it up here because it'd be the same, correct? You with me? Right? Okay. So then how would we find what X would be? If we, if we put those two angles together, what would they equal? Not 180. 90. Good. Reason why it's 90 is because this up here tells us that M and N are perpendicular. So we combine our like terms. Good. Oh. Excellent. That green hard to see? Yeah. Okay. Questions about that one? Let me know when you guys have it. I don't want to move too quick. Everybody good? 33. 1 and 2 form a linear pair. So a linear pair. The measure of angle one equals 18 minus one. The measure of angle two is 23x plus 17. Find the measure of angle two. So what would the two of those angles equal? Good. So we'll put those two together. Combine our like terms, 18 and 23. Negative 1 plus 17. Good. Okay. We want to move the 16 to get x by itself. Out, we'd have forty one X equals one sixty four divided by forty one. How many times is four? How would I tell you how to do this one? How many times is four going to sixteen? Four. Good. Does one go into four or four times? Good. 
now. Is that our final answer? So we have to plug it into what? Angle two. Good. So tw oh. Twenty three. You got one oh nine. Twenty three times four plus seventeen. And you said that equals one oh nine. That's going to be your final answer. Okay. Move down here to thirty four. G and H are complementary angles, so they would equal what? Complementary. 90. Okay. So measure of angle G. Is 6X minus 15. H. Is 3X. Plus 6. So how would I write those together? Combine our like terms. Six plus three. Fifteen negative fifteen plus six. Final answer. What do we need to find? Three times eleven plus six. Thirty-three plus six. Thirty-nine. And that would be degrees. What does that tell you? They are what? Equal. Okay, so we have 5x plus 12 equal to 6x minus 11. So to give you the visual picture, that would be either this angle and this angle or this angle. In this angle. Okay. What would we do from here? Good. So we're going to add 11 to both sides. And we're going to subtract 5x. These will cancel out. These will cancel out. We would get 23 equals 1x or just simply x. Is that our answer? Good. We have to plug it into the measure of angle 1, which is this. That 23 comes from here to plug into there. 5 times 23 is 115 plus 12. So 127 degrees. Questions there? 
Monday we will do a review that will be very similar to your test. And then Tuesday we'll probably take the test. I don't want to give you guys a test on Monday where you forget. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you may. Those of you that are online, make sure you complete this. Upload a picture of your packet to Schoology. Okay.